Hi friends, I am Sampada Kulkarni. Welcomes you in my channel Tech Talks. In this video series, I am explaining you the concept of circular link list. How to create a circular link list and which different operations we can perform on a circular link list. All these concepts I am explaining you in this video series. Before moving to the content, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel Tech Talks and keep the bell ringing now in this current video we are going to see how to perform traverse operation on a circular link list these many different operations we can perform on a circular link list from which in a previous video session we have seen how to create a circular link list and now let's focus on the traverse operation on a circular link list to traverse it in forward direction now let's see this is the circular link list is available with me and if i want to traverse it in forward direction what the steps i supposed to follow so very first thing we have to start with the head node so let's highlight the head node after that we have to traverse a circular link list till the next node or the address field of the node is holding the address of the head node because this is the circular link list that's why from where we will come to know that the link list is we have traversed with the all nodes by checking the next field of every node if it holds the address of the head node because this is a circular link list we supposed to stop at this position so what we have we have to do traverse circular link list till the next field of a node is a head node so let's check for this particular node is it head node no so that's why we can move forward and let's make this as a current node let's check whether its next field is equal to the head node no it's not equal to head node again we have to move forward before that we have to display the information field of the node to traverse it let's move forward let's check whether its head whether its next field is holding the address of the head node yes it is holding the address of the next uh, it it is holding the address of the head node so that's why it indicates that this is nothing but the end of the list and we will stop at this position so thank you dear friends for listening and watching this video if you like the video and the content please do not forget to give the comment again i would like to request you to share it with your friends if you have not subscribed me, my channel tech talks then i am providing your description link of my channel tech talks here i am providing you the link to the next video of this video series and the whole video series I am providing you in the form of playlist. So thank you. Happy data structuring. Happy learning. Thank you.